Hey everyone, welcome to the 22nd episode of the Luke Roxwell Podcast. I'm your host, Luke Roxwell, and today I am here with Shane. What's up? Michael. Merry Christmas. John. Aloha. And Brent. Maybe. And as always, you can check us out on iTunes, SoundCloud, and YouTube. No reason to not listen to us other than the fact that you don't support us, but that's fine. Thanks for listening to this episode. Guys, hey. how's it going? Well, so people who are listening do listen to us. So who is that message for? Yeah, I've been for, wondering that for the, the whole people time. That, yeah, I've the, always questioned. First time listeners. I thought oh, about yeah. saying it. I didn't want to like I didn't want to just no. contradict you on the podcast, so. Always say what you're thinking. Always. Yeah, I I say this. I don't know if that's a good idea. I know you don't want to know that, dude. <laughs> oh, no, not so true. <laughs> Everybody except for John. <laughs> always say the second thing that pops into your head. N- yeah, no one should say <laughs> what they think. The second that. thing that pops into John's head is always, "Oh, I'm glad I didn't say that." because <laughs> like the first thing usually isn't that good so if you think about yeah. it twice if you think the same thing twice it might be okay but if you, th- if you just think it once and then he goes away or you think it's something better <laughs> it, it is true sure. that i've found that if i think about what i say things go a little better for me yeah yeah, yeah luke. you should do that luke <laughs> when, when you're like all aspects right, of your life when you're like listen to us on itunes soundcloud like they already listen to us on itunes or soundcloud so or this is the first episode they've ever listened to and i'm telling them that they're not being a good friend that's true. Yeah. Just say, just hey, giving them this is your first time. You positive suck as a encouragement. <laughs> yeah. If this is your first time listening to this podcast, welcome. We thank you. We hope you enjoy yeah, us. Yeah, see what a mouthful. We hope you stick around. We you hope you stick we're also around mad at you for not supporting episodes. us so far. Thank you guys so you much. You suck. And for the old listeners, you're just as important. We really appreciate all the support. The old listeners are the best. Thank this you. is a safe space, everybody. They've been here from the beginning. <laughs> hey, look, look how easy that was. That was so casual. It's a long time. Uh, yeah, what is this, amateur hour? <laughs> I'm going to give that zero stars. Oh, so you wow. didn't vote. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? America. Speaking of speaking of voting, there was oh, this lady outside. Hold on. <laughs> zero stars means no votes. It, it always counts one to five or whatever. It never counts as zero, so that's not oh, voting on what websites. Means. That's what I meant. Okay. All right, anyway, okay. sorry. Go ahead. That was way too soon. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go ahead, Shane. What were you gonna so, say, Shane? So I was, go- I was going, I was going to work on voting day, and there was this lady campaigning outside, and she was like, "Are you going in to vote?" I said, "No, I'm going in to work," and I was kind of already late, so I was like, "Don't talk to me." But so I walked <laughs> past her, and then I work and whatever, and my day goes by, and then it's been raining all day. I come back outside; it's dark. The same ladies outside, and I'm like, and so normally I wouldn't say anything to people like that I don't know, but I stopped and I was like, you know what? I have to like give props to you because your dedication is unreal. Because there's no way I would have been out here for like seven hours in the rain campaigning. Like I hope your candidate wins. Like, <laughs> That's crazy. I'm throwing all my votes for your candidate because yeah. <laughs> I put, a lot, I put a lot of work in for that one. <laughs> yeah, and then she told me. She's like, yeah, send people my way. I'm like, I don't have the dedication. For <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I'm like, like you. Really, I'm really proud of her. Like, well, you should have said, well, yeah, who you voted for. I was like, wow. What? Just say, who you voting for, what she tells you. Then you say, well, I'm voting for the other person. So <laughs> yeah, <That's> right. Right. <laughs> I told that. I said that to somebody earlier today. Or well, not today, but like the other day. I was saying that like. If you don't know who, vote, who to vote for, find somebody you don't like and ask them who they're voting for. And make them vote, <laughs> vote for the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> like, so, mm-hmm. that there was, was uh, vote. we voted for like, our our local area was for, uh, for the school district, so people working on <clears> like the board and stuff. And mm-hmm. I didn't know anybody's stance. I ain't got no kids in school system, <laughs> kids at all. So I was I like, I don't kids. know what to vote for this, but one of them, put their political affiliations on it. So I'm like, I know I'm not voting for that guy. Because <laughs> fuck you. This is for kids. Why does it matter what your political stance yeah, is? that's kind of odd. So it's fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to talk about... I don't want to talk about voting. Because it's boring. And it's like it Tuesday. Okay. I said this. I said this the other day. Who? Tuesday. It should be a federal holiday. Who came up with be. Tuesday? I don't Why think. Tuesday, man? It like it's almost because. like they had a meeting, and they were like, "Hey, let's choose a day." And this guy in the back throws his hand up. It's like, "Hey, how about we do the worst day possible?" Tuesday. I'm sure. Yeah, I saw, your, the best I saw day. your post about that. We Saturday. have Why is Tuesday the worst day. 
It's a weekday. Because it's not it even like weekday. Monday. Monday's like we're getting started. Tuesday's just this this Tuesday is day. random. But like I think any day is oh. the worst day. It's a day I day. never oh, expect. Any day you wake up is the worst day. <laughs> I like the way you think, John. <laughs> no, I'm saying because like Tuesday I never expect anything to happen on Tuesdays. And it's like, oh, damn, oh. I gotta vote. Well, I, I got stories about <laughs> Tuesdays. Uh, I grew up liking Tuesdays because we Tuesdays, for Tuesdays days. was rent rent double the games at the video game store or the update. That's true. There's then, a lot of, uh, I remember there was like pizza deals. There's also Tuesdays. pizza deals on Tuesday. Yeah, so we they were trying to spice up your Tuesdays. To get pizza. <laughs> Tuesdays <laughs> fantastic. Well, when I'm an adult, I don't get pizza on it. Tuesday. I have to vote on Tuesday. The I'm thing, an adult. <laughs> so no the pizza thing today, I hate, guys. I gotta vote. The thing I hate the most about being an adult is how fucking everything is open only when it's work hours. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Man. Yeah. yeah. Like Why the post that? office, the DMV, the bank. all those, nope. all those crappy <laughs> bank, things, yes. all the crappy things that I don't want to do anyway <laughs> are during work. Yeah, the bank and the DMV are always closed yeah. when I'm not working. Yeah, and then when I, was money. In, when I was in college, dude, I, I literally didn't get a haircut for two months because like every <laughs> I would work nine to nine and then get to school until nine every day and every haircut place was closed. Closed. Yeah, I, mean, I was just like a shaggy, disgusting mess. It's like, who are these hours for? <laughs> Like who goes to a bank? Yeah, that's at like true. three p.m. Yeah, it feels hey, like whoa, it'd some be, moms will work. That's it would be like mom. it would be really peaceful to work at Stay a at bank. Home parents. Because like, pretty much there's only people go. Well, until someone tries to rob it. Yeah, it'd be peaceful up to that point. Up till lunchtime, or until, up, up until, until someone, someone robs, robs you. you. <laughs> What do you do? And you when just, are they gonna rob it? When no one's there them, during work hours. No, you give them. You give them the money. <laughs> you give them. You give them the money, and then you have a good story. <laughs> Until they shoot you in the face because you're not you behind. You gave them the there. money. Because you yeah, looked at the story, dude. <laughs> like your boss. You put the in one of those tubes. You. Yep. You put the little blue paintball things that blow up on them in the money bags, and you have a funny story, and you get to laugh at the fact that that they stole the money. But when they open those bags. Pop, pop. They're gonna get yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do do you have those button. um? Do you have those tubes at your bank? Yeah. Or anywhere near you? What? Uh, oh, those little, the little like tubes where they alien put the, space transport devices. Yeah. Like, yeah. So on a different podcast, they were talking about uh, someone wrote in saying that uh, someone shit in one of them at their <laughs> local bank, <laughs> so they had to shut it down for a while to clean it. <laughs> Oh, oh man! How do you clean which, that thing? Which I, I'm oh, really you impressed could, by that story. If you, because that's if you a really put, odd angle. You wouldn't to try and like. It, you wouldn't want to put it on top of, or you wouldn't want to put it inside the thing. You would want to put it on top of it. No, I don't think they use the cylinder that you're supposed they to shove it in. <laughs> they just poops in the tube. I think they just like handled <laughs> it and then closed the door, <laughs> which is way more like disgusting. They were, they were really as high dexterity. Oh man! Can you imagine trying to clean that thing too? It's all these mm. tubes, like uh, That's all disgusting. these. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine gross. being on the other end of that when it comes through? No, oh God, no! <laughs> Covered canister. That's uh, just a bad day. Bad day. day. Wow! Here comes Dude, some I, more. <laughs> I heard money. on another uh, podcast it was this guy talking about like bank robberies and stuff. He used to rob banks for like a few what? years. He what? got like like Is that jail. Of, <laughs> well, yeah, Why would you announce this to the public? Yeah, this, this, well, he, 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 he was in jail and it was released and stuff. And he actually I didn't talk about all the because like, he was like, "I'm not sure which ones I've been busted, I've been busted for yet, so I'm not going to talk about them specifically." <laughs> but he said all he would do, he literally just go like go to the bank, write a note that said like, "Put mar- put like," and he would just do small amounts. They put like a thousand dollars in this bag. Don't look at me. This is not a joke. And then they put money in the bag and he'd me. leave and just drive home. And by the time. Like the cops got to the bank, he was already home, and it wasn't enough money for them to like actually go look at, go after. Yeah, you I feel like it. If, if you steal, you a bunch of banks like every. There, there is like a threshold apparently where it's like a certain money amount is a, I think it's a, a withdrawal. A with- it's not a, cr- it's like a crime <laughs> versus a um taxable amount. amount. It's not worth the tax yeah. money to investigate. Well, yeah, like, it's, it's, it, I think he was still it's over the amount that was ba- that was like really bad, like jail time, mm-hmm. but like it was too low that like it didn't it was worth more to the bank to just let it go than for them yeah to, like, so the bank will get uh, right. insurance off that and it'll be cheaper to just get the thousand for the insurance instead of investigating it for way more basically yeah. but it's mm-hmm. like to, probably what the to risk prison is. for a thousand dollars yeah well I mean oh, just don't steal YOLO <laughs> Shane's like that's my weekend 
What do you mean? I do that every Friday. <laughs> During the hours. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. I know we I know we have a bunch <laughs> of stories and we're really disorganized today. Uh, I'm well, I'm disorganized. <laughs> I did not rob so what stories do we have? Michael, yeah, you've been all either. over the place, apparently. I didn't even read your story on Messenger, so I don't even know. Wow, what a good right. friend. He was, Mar- he was in Maryland. I was in Maryland, the worst state <laughs> ever. Oh, well, so, man. So the past couple of weeks, I've been uh, working well, with this company Maryland. called Elf. I used to live in Maryland, FYI. Oh, man. Elf. It's worse, isn't it? I, <laughs> when you said Maryland, that, 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 like, that bothered me. <laughs> Everyone in Maryland, like... They're all love upset that. for no reason. They all can't drive, and <laughs> they just suck. I'll tell you why. Was it uh, rainy or was it, was it rainy like the whole sunny? Time. Okay, that's why everyone's so mad. <laughs> but also, like, uh, so anyway, we're decorating malls for Christmas all up and down the East Coast. I've mainly been in Virginia and Maryland this year, though. Um, but so, like, mall security is never really our friend because mm-hmm. we go in at night <laughs> and like we're just a bunch of like people like wearing hoodies and like random clothes. <laughs> Delinquent we don't, looking. Yeah, like it's just like normal normal people. So like I understand okay, like kids. they might be a little bit on edge, but they always know that we're gonna be there and we check in and stuff. And like we skateboard around the malls with like stuff to make it faster. Like mm-hmm. it saves like hours. That's we'll skateboard leap. like that's no, not it's fine. Like we're like, <laughs> like, like hey you can't skate I here. Saw like, you. I, <laughs> I saw I can't that sk- you you put a Snapchat or, or an Instagram of him skateboarding yeah. in the mall, and I was like, well. It's gonna hey, be fun to get caught. Cool. No, dude, I, 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 I get caught, and they're like, they say, "Hey, you can't do that." I'm like, "Yes, I can." And I keep going. This one security like, guard, as you, as you zip want. by, it'd just yeah. be like, "It'd be like, I'm like, yes, I can." Yes, I can. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> yes, I can. But, uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> everyone, thanks. Bye. Well, I was at I was at MacArthur Mall in Norfolk. This guy on a Segway rolled up. Well, I wasn't skating. I was working. He's like, juiced. He goes like, Sorry. Like, I was just about to say, like, if you're riding a skateboard, they can't catch you, but then they got a Segway, so it's like a chase. No, dude, guys, like, oh, well, the, one security guard told yes. me that they, they fall off the Segways all the time. I never fall off my skateboard in the mall, so, like, I totally would win. But mm. this guy, he, like, pulls up, he's like, if I see you guys on the skateboards again, I'm going to take them away Stab from you. you. Oh. And I just looked at him. I couldn't think of anything nice to say, so I didn't say anything. <laughs> I was just like, he, I, see, I, I was just like, I'm so That was good of you, it. Bambi. <laughs> but, like, I was just I want I wanted to see him again because like if you asked me again I'd be like dude you can't physically or legally you can't take this from me. <laughs> I, thought, I like, literally thought you were about to say he'd be like if you if you if I see you on that skateboard again I'm gonna I'm gonna take it away. <laughs> and then you I'm just tell you your it away. <laughs> <laughs> I should have I should have skateboarded like away. You just put the skateboard I, I down and go there. away. Was it a what skateboard else? or was it a longboard? Uh, I had a, I had like a cruiser that day. I had a longboard okay. another day. I have like three skateboards, and like uh, some, sometimes other elves will use them. But the worst security guard was at uh, the Montgomery, Maryland Mall. So I went there by myself this day. I usually have like a crew of like 10 to 20 people. But it was just me. And I had to get into the storage room that they were letting us use. And I also had to use like a scissor lift, which is like a machine that drives around and like it goes up and down. Straight up, straight up and down. And like... Um, like a scissor, I get it. Yeah. Like everyone everyone in the... like we, 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 So we work all day. And I was there kind of early, so like a lot of people were still asleep. So the people who had the information that I need were still asleep. So I was like, whatever, I'll try to open this myself. Uh, I didn't have the key for it, so I called security. And I was like, hey, can I like get this? I need to get this door open, and I need to get the lift so I can um, fluff the tree branches on the giant tree and hang up these garlands from the ceiling. And I was like, okay, we'll send somebody down to help you. But like, the guy who came down, I guess the guy I talked to on the phone didn't talk to the guy who came down because he didn't know <laughs> what was going on. I was like, hey, I gotta, I gotta open this door and I gotta get this lift. Can you help me out with this? He's like, oh, well, I don't know how to open the door. I was like, oh, well, do you know how to go where the lift is? No. I was like, oh, well, who can I talk to someone who knows what the, where things are? And basically, this conversation lasts like I had this, this, that little conversation <laughs> looped for about ten minutes. And he's like, well, we gotta understand, like we don't, we don't handle that. Maintenance handles that. I was like, all right, can I talk, can I, well, then can I talk to maintenance. He's like. No, like we don't handle that. Maintenance handles that, and they're gone for the day. <laughs> and like after like ten minutes, I was like, dude, I'm not, I'm not trying to be confrontational or anything like that. I'm just trying to do my job. So let me talk to someone who knows something. He's like, well, you're being pretty confrontational right now. And I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry. Wow. Like I didn't, I didn't raise my voice at all. I definitely, I might have sounded frustrated, but I wasn't like raising my voice. I wasn't walking. Well, towards it's kind him. of like it's like, dude, I have to get this thing up. Yeah, I I'm just trying to work. Care who does it? If you this don't guy's know, like, find me someone who does. This, yeah, this guy's getting really defensive and flustered, and like, he's like, "Well, you were you, confronting you, you the rent a cop, and he has know. no real authority." 
So yeah, they, they can't do anything. And, then, and no one tells him anything. It's not his fault. It's so, not his fault so, they didn't tell him what to do, but he well, also no, was being it, really sensitive for security. It's just guard. that, yeah, it, it is that that kind of uh, rent cop <laughs> mentality. Yeah. So, <laughs> so after, did anything happen after that? Yeah. So, like, oh, I'm talking to him, like, I'm not trying to be confrontational, dude. I'm just trying to open this thing, do my job. If you don't, you don't know bro. anything, that's fine. Let me talk to someone who knows something, and then I can do my thing. You can do your thing. And he like kind of like he looks really flustered, like, <sighs> and like walks away, like <laughs> ten or twenty feet. Gets on his walkie Goddamn millennials. And he's like. I'm gonna send somebody to talk to you, and I was like, "All right, cool." <laughs> no, when, from like when far away. Said, when you said what I've he, been asking when for you said he time. walked about 20 feet away from you, I pictured him just like walking 20 Bounding. feet and turning around and looking at you like a cowboy. <laughs> you know, like when they're about to draw and shoot, just kind of tw- no, walks was, away. It was and more like he was like you. like he looked it like looked like afraid, like he was like not comfortable <laughs> in the situation. Not like not like I was afraid. gonna hurt him, but like he just like wasn't comfortable <laughs> doing. What he's doing. You, so you I waited for a little him. longer. You're like, look, man, if you don't get me someone who can get this, I'm gonna skateboard around you. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> skateboard all over this freaking mall. No, I was I wasn't being <laughs> confrontational at all. Like I'm not even a very con- I'm not even an intimidating looking dude. Like I'm just like this smiley skinny guy with a skateboard. Smiley um, skinny guy. So like this other security guard comes and this guy just straight up like just didn't believe me that I was supposed to be working at the mall. <laughs> so he's like, all right, man, so, to pull? so what do you gotta do? And I'm like, well I gotta open this door. I gotta do some stuff in there for my boss, but mainly I have to get the lift and like um, work on the big tree by the fountain. And like he's like, okay, well, why do you have to open the door? Like he's like getting all like interrogative and stuff. Like, why, why didn't you get? Why don't you guys know where it is? Like we didn't. You, you didn't. No one. We don't. We don't know anything about you guys being here tonight. Like he just. He didn't believe that I was like telling the truth. I was like, where do you think all these Christmas you know decorations what? that are up came from? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> a quick, a quick, a quick interjection. Yeah, that interject. mall security interrogation is real. Because when I used to work at MacArthur Mall, when we do like overnight stuff, I would uh-huh. get interrogated. Like the second the mall closed and they locked the door, oh, why do you need to go inside? Because no, I it's work funny. here. I love that your your answer to him was um. Where do you think all these Christmas decorations? Yeah, like I pointed up the, I'm like up they're the just sky, like, like appearing like, over time. Yeah, right. It's He's a like, Christmas I miracle. That's, I don't know. That's the a elves. fair. That's a fair question. Yeah, I was like, we hung up with them yesterday. Santa like, did it. He was like, well, you guys should check in with us. I was like, well, we never actually check in with you guys because the mall knows that we're here. And you, so like, it's always was, it's always told you. weird too because I am the mall. It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's always Santa weird Christmas too. Shit. It's weird because it's like it's not your job to tell the security guards. Yeah. That you're gonna be there, so it's kind of like, what are you supposed to but, do? Like, I, I don't mean, at the same do at that. At the same time, you should tell the security guards that you're gonna be there because if you are there not, after, no, but not not Michael. Michael's boss should be telling. Yeah, you well, uh, at the same it's time, I, well, they, yes, like they know. But if Michael's they, they, boss they, isn't at the mall, the people at the mall should still let the, the security know because they need to know. They need to know that. I mean, yeah, Michael, what the heck? There. Well, they've they've known for about. 365 days that we were going to be there like it's scheduled every year <laughs> yeah but not necessarily it might be new the, workers those particular people now yeah like obviously they did, obviously they don't they don't know anything so but, like, what we, happened we told them what, so what happened uh, after the second, after so, the second after the second guy right, yeah so the second guy he's like he doesn't believe me he's being all like weirdly standoffish he's like well, why did you gotta get in this door i'm like i just, I just gotta do some stuff for my boss take some pictures he's of reaching, some reaching reaching like, into his just, back pocket like he's got a gun but he pictures of some stuff for inventory yeah. like well, get these garlands out water <laughs> and uh, and then he's like, well, we don't know how to open it. And like, eventually, I called, like, I texted some one of the people about like where the lift was because like I didn't know where that was. He didn't know where it was either. And I finally found out where that was. It's an elevator. And then no, it was like outside. <laughs> it's not a British elevator. I'm- it's like anyway. And then I called my my boss, and she's oh, like, oh yeah, this other guy has the key, but he's not there today. Oh, man. So like, kind of figure it out. But she's doing her own thing, so she hangs up. And then I'm like, okay, whatever, dude. Like, I don't need to get in this door anymore. I, I want to get the lift and get working on that tree. He's like, oh, you don't. Need, so your story is changing now. You don't. You don't, you don't oh need to get in this gosh. room. I'm like, no. Like, oh, it's just, man. it's not that important. This it's always more irritating when people in general, bored. no matter what the job is, when people think they're in a movie. <laughs> yeah, that is so irritating. <laughs> oh, that's like, not like twenty four. I've worked that's with people twenty four seven. I've worked with people before, and they think they're Steve Jobs, and it's like, no, you're not Steve Jobs. You're being a dick. Oh, so they're assholes. Just work with me. Yeah, I'm, I'm you're not, not saying like, something profound. You're just being. They think a they're. Jerk. They think they're Mark Zuckerberg from the Facebook movie, who's a <laughs> jerk but a genius. And it's like you're yeah, not. Yeah. Can you just? 
Okay, it's it's cool if you do that in a movie. It's not cool in real life. Don't <laughs> yeah. be a what, dick. Just if we went to with school me. with someone like that. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say their name. <laughs> they know who they are. No, they don't. <laughs> they probably <laughs> they, know they probably don't know who they are. <laughs> they don't. So, okay, so you, did you find so, the lift outside? Yeah. So so the guy gets on his walkie-talkie, and like I knew where it was. He's like, "Oh, where's the lift? I don't know where it is." So, like it's outside to the left in the parking area somewhere. I haven't been here in a year, so I don't know exactly where it is, but I can I know where to find it. Well, let me call like security, and he's kind of on my side now, because when he calls his boss, his boss doesn't know anything either. So he's getting frustrated at his boss with me. <laughs> so now we have a common enemy. So he's like, "Hey, can like this guy use the lift?" <laughs> and the guy like said something. Enemy. The guy said something. And he's like, "Okay, well, can he use the lift?" And the guy's like, blah, blah, blah. And I could barely make out what he was saying. And eventually, I heard him say, "Like, yeah, if he has the key, you can use it." I was like, "I have the key." And I just ran away. I'm gonna go use it. <laughs> I have. So I walk key. out like. I like f- open like the big doors and hold them open so I can come up through. And the guy's just like watching me, and it was just super annoying. Did you run away or did you skateboard away? I I walked away. away. I, I try not to skateboard in this in this presence. I don't want to like agitate the situation more. Ah. But later I was skating all over that place. Dude, malls are so nice to skate in. So yeah, because it's like because it's marble. <laughs> Yeah, it's you know, beautiful. it's not like uh, I mean, just I mean, I have a longboard and mm. you know, you oh yeah, long, skate, I, I was getting my longboard in that mall and it was super good. You can longboard on you know like the road and stuff, but like when you longboard on the sidewalk, it's even better. Oh yeah, but longboarding really... inside would be like longboarding on ice. That's not oh, yeah, slippery. It's, no, it's it's actually not that bad. It, I didn't like slide out one time. No, as I long mean, as you don't... it'd be like it'd be like ice that has friction. As long as you don't, like, yeah, as long as you don't turn. So not too ice. Harsh. It's fine. What, what what's a better thing? So what, hardwood. It's like it's like tile. Hardwood. It's yeah. tile. But yeah. Tile. I yeah, it was know. crazy. Security is not our <laughs> friend. Are you learning then, words now? What's happening? <laughs> on the first tile. day. On the first day at MacArthur Mall, we were working like outside the building. There there are these like balconies near the, uh, by the entrance, the side that faces the Norva, and they have doors behind them, but no one knows how to get in them. No one knows how to get in those doors. And we had to hang up like garland on the fence around it. <laughs> so he's got a lift, and my friend was just up there like putting garland on the fence. But the lift's battery died. So he was stuck what? up there. <laughs> battery? Like, full, yes. Yeah, lifts have batteries? batteries? Yeah. yeah. What? So like, the battery it, died. I guess that makes sense. It doesn't. It, you don't like start a lift with a key and it goes like... Broom. Yeah, exactly. It's all electric. It's not like starting a lawnmower. Because <laughs> they use it inside you know? and stuff. They don't want like gas pull inside. The, pull the ripcord. <laughs> but, uh, so, I, like, never, like, I never thought about it. Like, it, Oh, I guess it does make sense. It's on a battery, but it's weird because a lift feels like it's so old. And yeah, it's you battery how... Hard. Wait, it's I like, love how it's like Luke said, Tesla. I've never thought about this. Like, who thinks about lifts on a regular basis? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> People who make lifts. There's got to be some that's guy. Luke True. Oh, and that's, that's fair. But, uh, People make lifts. He got stuck, so he got stuck up there. Long story short, we were trying to figure out how to get him down. This other guy also had a lift, but he didn't want to help us because he was afraid he would get in trouble. And uh, so we got, like, a scissor lift, which is, like, so the, the lift we used. Wait, he thought he was going to get in trouble? <laughs> yeah, because he, 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 was, he was working for somebody else. And he was like afraid of OSHA. Ooh, we don't, we don't, we don't, somebody. we don't Ooh, answer OSHA. to OSHA. But other he people was answer a, to he OSHA. He was afraid. He was afraid Ooh, that he'd go, be helping the competition. Well, cause, no, because like it's OSHA dangerous. is the uh, standards for because he was like safe helping pull. Because like his lift wasn't quite as tall as the lift we were using, and it's like a <laughs> boom lift. So it has like a big crane arm with oh, a bucket. That's sad. So eventually, we just got another scissor lift, <laughs> and we put a ladder on top of it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So you had the lift all the way up. Yeah. So the lift was stuck. You said you got a ladder. So we got so we got a scissor lift. The, the the lift that was up there, it had it gone somewhere else when it died. So he was stuck up there. The, right. A big lift we had wasn't around. So okay. we got like a scissor lift and put it up close, moved a bunch of stuff around, and put a like a, an extension ladder on top of it. Oh my god. And we extended the lift as high as it would go. <laughs> and, this and, like, is not OSHA safe. That's why the other guy totally backed as, out. As soon as he <laughs> gets to the top, I went up too, I'd be like, I don't know about this. Well by at this point, I, the guy I, was I gone. don't approve of this and then he runs we away. he was gone before we did this. So we get the we get the lift all the way up the ladder against the building. As soon as we like we get to that point, a cop rolls up on a bike, and mm. he's like, "Oh, you guys probably shouldn't be doing that." But like as he's saying it, the guy had already climbed down. So I'm talking to him for a couple minutes, and I'm like, "Oh, well, we already did it, so it's fine." <laughs> I, <laughs> so thought, I, like, I actually thought that earlier. Like I saw someone get pulled over by a cop, and the cop was driving a like a bike. <laughs> yeah. And I just thought I think about just how ride a bike. I don't think you how, drive a bike. Well, it was a like a motorcycle, but okay, that's it's different. the car it's the car equivalent of a it's an acoustic car. That's kind of <laughs> what it's, a, it's an electric bike. So what? acoustic bicycle. But basically, this, this metaphor bike. has broken it's my brain. It's an acoustic car? <laughs> no, no, no. A bike is an acoustic a bicycle is an acoustic motorcycle. Yeah. Like like yeah, glasses yeah, are acoustic that makes contacts. More sense. 
Um, or a longboard so is an acoustic skateboard. using the word acoustic. I Looks a little know. drunk tonight. I know. I understand the you reference, dude. It's because electric guitar, you need to have like certain things I'm to use John, it. I, I know what an acoustic, acoustic guitar it's, is. It's the, it's the I don't think it fits this metaphor. It makes sense. Because like no, electric guitar, you need something. You need something else I'm, to use electric guitar. Done. I'm sorry. But an acoustic guitar, you can play anywhere. That's not even too compare. Compare. This doesn't make any fucking sense. It makes sense, Shane. I'm with Luke on this one. You're you are wrong, Shane. I know what you're saying, but Shane, Shane. Shane! I would use, I would I'm with Shane. A different word. I would use a different word. Chocolate milkshakes! What, what would be a better word, hey, Shane? <laughs> What's your solution, what? Shane? What's a better word? It's gotta be a funny. Not word. fucking acoustic! It has to be funny? <laughs> what? Uh, what? I wouldn't even... I, I would just say motorcycle. I wouldn't even... <laughs> like, and that's why I don't... <laughs> this whole thing doesn't make sense. Anyway, Luke, what were you saying about funny, the motorcycle yeah. bike? What about the acoustic like motorcycle? It's really uh, just demeaning to get pulled over by a cop on like a motorcycle when you have a car. <laughs> <laughs> it's, such, it's so puny, you know? And it'd be the same thing where it's like you're on your skateboard or something and then yeah. a cop just rides up to oh, you on a bicycle. In the, in the, oh. Do you know why I pulled segue. you over? Because you got all seats. No, what I always want to know is like when they arrest somebody on a bike, how do they get them back to jail? <laughs> they put them in the in their, in their little bike basket. You know, the one that's goes on front. It's, okay, wrap your no. arms around me, but don't hurt me. We're gonna go to the jail. They call for they call for a backup. Yeah, I'm sure they. Uh... No, they lassoed them up and throw them over the side. <laughs> or that. I'm sure in some some states. You get like okay, one of those so, like baby holders. West Virginia. Is there is there more to the story, Michael? Because I I'm gonna move on to the next topic. That's pretty much it now. But like. So, cops and security guards they just hate Christmas I guess but there was several times where we were like where we no, were setting up ladders anyone who wants to work after hours have you seen Die Hard <laughs> that's a cop that loves that is, Christmas that is the best but, but dude, Christmas movie so, like, ever made. Every, this is the last thing but every time we would set up a ladder or anything outside like nowhere near windows we, I put up a 20 foot ladder on the side of a 100 foot tall wall and this cop's like watching us like what are they doing I'm like why would I pick the most inconvenient way to rob them all the door is unlocked <laughs> <laughs> like I can just walk in there but like they think they they see they're watching us put ladders outside like we're trying to do something crazy. I don't I don't understand. I do think that like the best way to sneak into a place is to just act like you belong there. Though. Yeah, just walk in there. Just yeah, be, well, yeah, just yeah. be like, like I'm just trying to get into the thing and whatever, and just walk in. Oh, another time. One more. Like, one more, oh, like one more if, you, if you guard. walk through no, if you walk through true. the gate if I walk through the gate of some event mm-hmm. with a camera in my hand or something and oh, I yeah, just you said, can do anything. I'm with media. Or, then they'd be like, oh okay. Yeah. No, like you, you can get a lot. You can get away with a lot if you if you're in the a backstage crowd. Backstage pass just says McLovin. <laughs> you can't. Oh gosh. Well, yeah. What was my that, Michael? Friend, what was just wear a lanyard and carry a camera, and you're good. Yep, that's true. But anyway, but like I was, okay. so there was like a piano in the mall that said like "Play Me," and we were about to we were about to like have a break for lunch. Well, lunch, quote unquote, is at midnight. At, at like three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, so like playing the piano. You're break. And I hear a voice like. Hey, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just playing the piano, looking around, like, who's talking to me? And I look up, like, up, like, up. There's a guy looking down at me from the top story. He's like, don't play the piano. And I'm like, there's a sign that says play you're the piano. Yeah, really, you're like, like, I have to choose between two people right now, the cop and the sign. And he's like, only in the daytime. And I was just like, whatever. And I walked away. Yeah, That's so done. funny. I, I, I don't, it's like, I don't, why? I don't, 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 I would I really, I just, you, don't you yell up at him. You yell up at him like, "Come take the sign off, then." <laughs> yeah, as it's long as the sign the is here, I will play the this piano. <laughs> yeah, so I, other I than have, that, Elf's really fun. I like, think they just to, like, didn't like you, Michael. Well, they're different people. They don't know me, so I don't know. Maybe it's sexy, Michael. <laughs> what? I, so. <laughs> I don't know, man. You know, actually, just fun fact. Um, I just looked it up, but the Montgomery Mall is like. 10 minutes away from where I used to live in Maryland. So. Oh, crazy. Yeah. Did you ever go there? Fun fact. I don't know, I don't prob- know how that's prob- fun, but... I probably did. <laughs> I mean... But I don't remember. I was a child. Fun act. fact. I like Shane's fun fact. What do you say? <laughs> so he said the fact wasn't that fun. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what else to call it. I just have a thing with names all of a sudden. Acoustic you motorcycles. You said it was a and- fact. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just, just that, that sounds like hey, what? Fact. just like to white in in the I live office, ten minutes just away out of from nowhere. Mall. Fact. <laughs> fact: bears eat yes. beets. <laughs> so, um, John and Sh- and uh, no, sorry, not Shane. Uh, John and Brent Hello. don't know who Sophia is. 
That doesn't mean Shane anything. Shane or name. Michael. Do you know who that is? Uh, sounds like a person. <laughs> is there a last Hello. name? Is there a... No, and there's I mean, not I a know last, there's not I know a, a few Sophias. <clears throat> there's, a, there's no last name the for Europa? a specific reason. Is it a dog? Oh, my God. Is it an oh. animal? Is this... Is it alive? <laughs> there's some, no... Some, there's wait, no... Luke, hold up. No, it was like, he was like, there's no context. last name for a specific reason. Michael goes, is it your girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> it's just right, no last name until she's married. It's a fair question. There's no last name. It's his left hand. There you go. Oh, oh. Got him! Wait. Oh, uh, <laughs> speaking of speaking of girlfriends, I wait have a, a second. Story, but okay, uh, <laughs> okay, that's fine. Yeah, Luke, who is Sophia? Is it a dog? Oh man, I was no, we're taking so, turns. We're letting you go first. Sophia. Bedara, I don't know. I'm not apparently, sure. apparently. Wait, I think oh, I know who this. Whoa. Is it a computer? Is this a real person? Or is this a Sophia. Is apparently a robot a with okay. citizenship in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, I did hear about that. Oh! I your name, no, yeah. I did see the story. No, nope. the name. Yeah. Okay. No, nope. I don't think that <laughs> that it. is anything other than a publicity stunt. Yes. Burn it. I agree, but at the same time, I don't real. like it. When are you allowed to give a computer citizenship? Apparently, they achieve sentience. When you live like, in Saudi Arabia, and who they determines give, yeah, wait a minute. They just give women. They this. just gave women the right to drive, and now all of a sudden a computer. <laughs> so is a citizen. Like, well, women, are women are driving. Drive. Pigs are flying. Like get computer, computer citizenship. citizenship. Is it Saudi Arabia where the prince was like, "Yeah, we should give women rights and shit. They don't have to wear uh, hijabs or whatever." And then he mysteriously died in a helicopter <laughs> crash. Like what? He, really? So, so, some Saudi like I did not know Arab, that. Some Arabic <laughs> prince is in control of his country, and he was changing rules that gave women rights and stuff, and it was pissing people off, and then he suddenly just, like, dies in a helicopter crash. Yeah, really? It's just like, Ooh. yeah, we just went hunting, and he, I think that was shot the him. same country. <laughs> it some, might be. Yeah, I'll so, but apparently, I so I watched the video of this human robot, and, and it kind of looks like a human. <laughs> but it's so but it's so creepy and the answers are so it like it sounds like a recording and it's like the guy talking to her was like trying to time his conversation with the robot because it's mm-hmm. so out of sync it's, it's not it's at total all like publicity ex machina it's, no it's not like that that's a great movie by the way no I forgot about sucks, that I still haven't seen it but I want to did you say it sucks it. no oh, the movie is so pretentious that's Wait, a good movie, movie. That's a good Ex one. Machina. Ex Machina. It's a good one. Oh. I didn't see it, but I wanted to. <laughs> you didn't like it all? No, not at all. It <laughs> was predictable. Like it was pretentious. Like. It just it just hurt so much. That's probably so much why that. he didn't like it. I do th- I do have a thing against pretentious movies. Except for that one. <laughs> <laughs> so it is Except for that one. <laughs> I don't think it was that pretentious. It's not like a Terrence Malick film where it's it like, oh, you just don't get it. it super, Jerk. Uh, I hate that guy. <laughs> you just don't. But um, AI, I think, was a good artificial intelligence movie. Um, so anyway, that's kind of... I, I was hoping someone else <laughs> knew something about this, but I was asking around and nobody knew. Oh, the robot? Yeah, that's all it's just weird. I it's do like, have a lot of feelings about sentient robots. Yeah, oh, it's, it's freaky because it's huh. like... So as a citizen... Doesn't that mean that that robot has like the same rights? And the, and the other thing too is yes, she was yes. like, now this is rehearsed. I, I I have no doubt in my mind that this was like a recording, but the robot was like, I have feelings. I experience happiness and sadness and anger, but don't worry. If you're nice to me, I'll be nice to you. Does not make me feel better at all. It no, actually it said I will destroy humans. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, that. it's I'm like serious. So if you're not nice to it, he's like, I think I'm just gonna wipe out all humans because of this. I'm, just, I'm mad. Yeah, that's freaking. Man. Well, that's an appropriate. Thing, I don't know. I don't know like the level of like self awareness this robot has. I don't really care about this particular robot. It seems like it's just like, like I said, a, a publicity stunt. It is. But I think that like sen- they're running out sentient, of oil. Making sentient robots, I think, is a bad idea. <laughs> Yes. Because like making something like that's physically stronger and mentally faster than us is yeah. not a good idea for our survival. I, we should only ever make robots that have a singular purpose and not uh, 
growing neural networks. <laughs> yes. Like a robot has... to pass butter. Yeah, like the robot. Yes, man. hell yeah. yeah. What, what is, is my purpose? purpose? To pass butter. Oh, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but I think that it's, it's interesting because, um, I don't know, it is freaky because I've, I've seen too many videos about people talking about robots being the next level like humans were just existed long enough to create robots robots wipe us out and just live on just well like, that's what would probably yeah. happen i don't know because robots I, can't die i know yeah that's true they're, robots they're can live in the vacuum of space so it's not like it would matter if like earth lost fucking the ozone or you anything. know what you know what's so funny about all of that is that people will continuously make movies based on this happening Yet we're still like, yep, we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Elon yeah. Musk is like, hey, we shouldn't do this. Yeah, because this uh, is how it always ends. <laughs> actually, the robot, like, no, nope, in the in the conference, it. she said that she was like, um, people were like, well, what happens if you turn evil or whatever? And she she's was like, like, don't yeah. worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, don't, don't worry, I won't. No, but she said you've been listening yeah. to Elon Musk too much and watching too many movies. Oh, that makes me feel better. Obviously, she's not oh. lying. Do you, you know about uh, you know about Deep Blue? No, nah, she's too she's she's too aware. I don't trust her. Yeah. Too aware now. You know, uh, Deep Blue, the robot like played Jeopardy in one. Yeah. They uh, yeah. they let it use the internet to learn, and it found its way mm. to Urban Dictionary. Never and do so that. They oh, yeah. had to purge part of its brain because it started cursing all the time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's so freaky. Like, we I, have to I, feel, I feel like letting the inter- the computer have access to the internet is like the worst thing you can ever do. Well, yeah, watch yeah. Avengers too. Oh, that's yep. true. Age of Ultron. He was like, "Hey, humans fucking suck." Yeah. <laughs> I watched, I'm gonna learn uh, everything. Oh I man, watched, I watched Age of Ultron also, the during. Movie that I watched. Oh, that's Age, true. The, I've yeah. only watched Age of Ultron one time, and it was during Zero senior week of um, of college. <laughs> So like I don't remember it. like I like don't remember it at all. Well, wow, fake fan. I'm sorry. I don't. <laughs> My brother was like, "Was it good?" And I was like, "I don't really remember." Sure. He just said, "Sure, <laughs> fucking whatever." Like, yeah. yeah. Why Whenever not? Marvel. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I did see uh, all their movies. Thor, the by the way. I haven't Thor seen is, it. Haven't it's seen another. It. Never, it's another I've Marvel movie. Any of I heard it was awesome. Yeah, okay they're all this. the same. I'm okay with this. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Me too. They're all, they're, the they're, they're all like um, Guardians of the Galaxy now. Every single movie. Yeah. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. I want to I I wanna not think about things for a while. Is that okay? <laughs> no. I like, Guardians, I like Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Sorry. We've got our Marvel like... movies to think. Yep, that's why I do. That's... I, like... I really like Ant-Man. I like Guardians of the Galaxy, Ant-Man. but I don't know if I don't like the swashbuckliness of that in all the movies. Like, Guardians of the Galaxy is really goofy all the time. It's, no, it, fits, it, it doesn't fits, work. If it's a style, but like like in Doctor Strange, they kept trying to do moments like that. Yeah, I know. That's and what Thor is like. Doctor Strange is good too. Try to do that. I, so is it better I, than I, the second Thor movie? I so I liked. Here's the thing. I liked oh, Thor. Okay. Probably doesn't remember. I actually really liked Thor one. Then I saw Thor two, and I did not like Thor two at all. Is it better Thor than two, Thor two? Um, I don't really remember Thor two. I just remember not liking God it. God damn it! Well, if, you, if you like I, it, probably, if, you, if you like it, then it's better than Thor two. I think it probably was better than Thor. Two, yeah, it was it was better than Thor two, but I okay, I didn't good. like Thor two, so that's, that's fine. Difficult. Did Thor, anyone Thor like Thor two? Was, Thor two was terrible. The issue yeah, the issue seen. is that like every, all these movies are like trying so hard to be funny all the time, like mm-hmm. literally the whole movie is almost that's a true. comedy. There's so much humor in it that it kind of there's it parts of it where you kind of it gets kind of old because you keep expecting funny things to happen, yeah. and I don't know it, it that ruined Guardians of the Galaxy two for me. It ruined um, <laughs> Doctor Strange for me. This Thor movie was like that. It, and it's kind of like, it ruined Spider-Man for me. Whoa. Yeah. I Spider-Man know. was pretty good. Homecoming, Spider-Man was yeah, pretty I okay. It. I hate but See, you. no, it, it worked. I think it works for Spider-Man because they're so young. But Spider-Man, also, Spider-Man was always like that. He's always about joking. Yeah, that. No, yeah, Spi- that well, Spider-Man was funny, but it wasn't like, oh, won't it be funny to have his friend make a dumb comment every second he's on screen? And his I mean, friend is fantastic. That's kind of Best Spider-Man, Best character though. in that movie. Like, Spider-Man characters are if like you, that. If you read the comics, Spider-Man's funny. It's not like everyone's making jokes around him the whole time. A lot of people are sarcastic in the comics, though. Especially Ultimate yeah, like, Spider-Man. I see this point. Like The Marvel the movies, movie like, everyone's always joking all the time. It's true. 
It's a comedy, and it's ruining it for me because I, I keep expecting jokes in every single scene. The jokes are too funny. I hate this. <laughs> I agree. There's too many. It makes me laugh too much. <laughs> I ex- when I when I expect it, it's not it's not as funny anymore. That's the problem I think yeah. with it. These jokes aren't jokes enough. That's right. <laughs> These jokes so, aren't jokes enough. Uh, Shane, you said you had a story that I reminded you of when I brought up. Did I remind you or did Mike? Oh well, you? it's not. It's not well. <laughs> it's kind of a story. It's more just uh, well, there's a story. Could you say girlfriend? But there's a story. <laughs> I didn't say. <laughs> you said the word. I said. I said Luke's girlfriend is that robot. Yeah, and then Luke said the word back to you. So I know you said it, Luke. Yeah. So anyway. <laughs> oh, man, you showed me. So it, it's just basically, I just did something. Uh. Basically, I like lost all my shame over the past. When was it? The weekend, I think. And it's been That's fantastic. Good. It's like changed my entire life. So, <laughs> so, uh, so the girl that I talked about before on the podcast, we went through like a little period where we didn't talk for like a few weeks, I think. And oh, man. I just, and basically, before when when we weren't talking, before she had told me that. Oh, I just don't think it's the right time for me. Yada 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 yada. So we didn't. The talk. old line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so. It's not you. It's me. Um, <laughs> it was like you know, I just don't think we're feeling the same way. And I asked her, "Well, how do you think I'm feeling? Because I've never told you how I felt. So like, basically, don't make up a conversation in your head. Like, I want to speak for myself. And so, uh, so we then we didn't talk. And then I thought about it really hard. And then so I ended up making her a mixtape because I speak better <laughs> through music than words. And, and it was just basically how I felt in songs. And then I kind of explained why each song was on there. And so <clears throat> I decided to go give it to her at work. So I went, she works in the mall. So I went to the mall and I changed into my, I got a Spider-Man onesie. I bought it just <laughs> for this because her favorite oh, superhero man. is Spider-Man. Nice. And I walked through no that shame. mall with no shame, Holy went right crap. into her store, talked to her, gave her the mixtape or whatever, and walked back out. And I was like, well, if I can do that, then I can do anything. So, so I'm proud of myself for that. Um, <laughs> that actually that. took it. I mean, I'm, proud, I'm, the, I'm proud of you for that one. That's pretty fun. Thank you. Um, the mix it didn't work. Picture of you in the onesie. No. I want to see this. Oh, oh man, she still said it's, it's not the right time. But drop her, really, drop her, she, drop her. No, she did say I really drop really, her I'm off already, a building. <laughs> like Spider-Man. I didn't even, uh. I didn't even respond to the text message. But uh. she did say that she does think I'm amazing and she appreciates it. No one's ever like opened. Amazing Spider Man. Aha, that same exact thing. <laughs> but um, you know, it's just not, you know, dude. Like if you do, if you do that. If you do that, and the answer is still no, so the, yeah. that's what I no that like I mean, I no. Say, I mean, I'm no, not bro, saying I'm you, not hold not on to not love, from man. Don't not listen from to the haters. Not from your perspective. I'm saying like she's she didn't know what she's missing. If like I, that's what I said. I, I wouldn't lost. do that. Said, you're lost. I don't yeah. think any of us here would do that. That took a lot of guts. And I <laughs> that's, think that's what that's, I said. Cool. I said if someone did something like that for me, I would be like, yeah, you do it for Laura. I'd do anything. I don't give a shit. <laughs> well, I would do anything, but I would do a lot of things. <laughs> well, if you knew the one, if, the, if you knew the one was a, the, the one was the one, you would. This one is the one. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So, I don't. I'm not yeah. saying it was wrong for him to do that. I think it's well, a I'm, cool I'm, idea. I, no, I, I think I think, think it was I the right did. thing to do because you went all I out. Did me and yeah. If you I did, put if you put all your cards on the table and then they still say no, then at least you know you put all your cards on the table. Exactly. That's right. And that's what makes me feel good about it. And it's exactly. no good. It's her loss. So because I've I've done the opposite like where great. I where I was really cautious about it and I didn't put my cards down, and then it didn't work out. And then I always wondered like if I put my Wonder cards down, if you did, yeah, would it have mm-hmm. worked out? And that's you know? what I told so, myself. I said no I don't want to. Yeah, I told myself regrets. you know no last regrets. time I tried to get into a serious relationship, I did the same thing. I didn't do anything about it. So I'm like, well. I don't want to regret anything, so let's just females. Uh, females take a lot of courage. Like they, they actually have really too. do. Yeah, I'm do sure you? they do. I'm. I just. I'm not a female. I don't know what they go through. I've said that before. <laughs> it's true. I know that like it's difficult, even as you get confident, 
approaching a girl, talking to a girl, laying it all out there, it, it's always no, difficult. It yeah. is very difficult. I mean, Women have to I don't trust that the man's not going to abuse them or do something horrible. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's I a lot know. of trust, nah, too. Get, I Please. mean, yeah, oh. I, I think it's harder for the guy, though, than it is for the girl. Because the girl <laughs> At least initially. Really have to do much. Yeah, I think it's it's different different aspects of it because we in general we're the ones approaching and approaching can be very difficult yeah because you're like i think the initial but i mean it's still a lot of like girl has to do what'd you say it's probably more risky for the girl well i feel like initiation is is more difficult than anything whoever's receiving that's the first step that's once you get past the initiation everything kind of is easier yeah everything goes goes with the flow yeah well, Shane, awesome. I'm sorry if, it didn't work as out. As long as I the think, guy's not. I mean, asshole. don't. I mean, don't. Don't feel sorry because I don't want to be with a person who doesn't appreciate or who does, who can't see that they have something really good for them, and they still mm-hmm. like deny it. So, yeah, I don't want to be. Well, with maybe like she'll that. change her mind. Who knows? Yeah, maybe she'll. Maybe she'll figure it out. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Are you guys still like, hanging out like as friends, or just not talking at all now? Um, I mean, I didn't. I. I don't know. <laughs> is, this recent? is this recent yeah, yeah it was, was like on halloween i saw weekend. him by the, yeah, yeah, him by the onesie over, on snapchat yo no this was this was a like over the weekend oh, okay <laughs> and then she she responded back to me mm-hmm. yesterday yeah oh man she took forever that's I mean, like the worst thing but no i she know didn't even but it still is like the worst thing like the worst situation to be in is just waiting i would well, rather I mean, have bad news than i wasn't wait. waiting for any i wasn't waiting for anything her response didn't didn't really mean that much to me <laughs> dude i was so oh, like, oh. doing do no no well, i was working in that type of way just, it was <laughs> it, that was important right well, Which, while we were working i was, I was said, talking to my friends to i was talking to one of my friends while we, while we were working on the tree it was us and like our boss who's like a girl and two guys and i don't know how, how but like homosexuality came up in the conversation and we were both like, dude, if we were gay, life would be so much easier, man. I literally have no problems. <laughs> if, they, if I did not like women, I would actually have no problems in my life right now. True story. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty right. sure it's exactly the same. You still have to approach somebody. You still have to hope that they no, like you. No, I mean, it, it, it is I'm interesting. Like, well, guys are a lot no, easier to understand for me because I'm a guy. Yeah, but, I mean, you're a straight dude, so you probably associate straight dudes and don't I'm sure try to hit on gay dudes. people that are like, like I'm sure it's people. a similar <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's probably similar I, probably I similar. don't know I think it'd be a little easier but I, Plus, I like, don't know that I, mean, I don't know I said I think <laughs> ask <laughs> parallel Mike who's gay just go find parallel universe go find him Mike. and then see and what he him. thinks I think it, it is it is odd it is a different set of rules and so I think that would be difficult to deal with because well, I mean, who, who am I kidding? There's like no rules for anything anymore. <laughs> you know, it's always oh, difficult to know there what you're no supposed rules. to do. There, see that commercial? Did I you think you're that commercial? To just be yourself. It's like I, I, think, it was a, I think it was like a I think it was a Domino's commercial, and they're like <laughs> they're doing something with the pizzas, and you know they're like, oh, are you allowed to do that? And then the guy's like, yeah, there's no rules. <laughs> and then one of the guys like rips his shirt off. He's like, yeah. "There's no rules." And then they're like, uh, "Put your they're like put your shirt back on." He's like, "There's one rule." Yeah, chill out. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen that. But that's funny. It's such a dumb commercial, but it's actually stuck with me. <laughs> that reminds me of uh, the old ladies who are like, "I uploaded some more pictures on face uh, the face wall," and they have like pictures on the wall. And ladies <laughs> like, "That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works." And the lady touches her, goes unfriended. <laughs> oh. Oh. it's always the like dumb that's commercials funny. where it's like that's really stupid good. but it's really that's funny. funny puppy monkey baby it's funny dumb monkey humor baby. is great that shit was terrifying oh the Doritos commercial yeah you baby. no it's kickstart oh kickstart. yeah the, the the Mount Dew thing the Dorito drinks <laughs> I don't know what's cool yeah. ranch yeah cool me America. either I don't know but yeah <laughs> Let's be gay instead. It's a lot easier. <laughs> no, I'm okay. I like. Well, no, I, I, I think <laughs> I, I do think it's easier. If, well, I don't. I mean, <laughs> I, I do think that my biggest not issue... from like any experience or anything, but I definitely I do think it's easier for like men to get together with each other because. <laughs> 
you know what? It, but like, even like with like a guy and a girl, the guy is going after the girl. So if the guys are going after each other, it just makes it easier, I think. It well, does. I do know that like I, one, I, one of the I issues. Like I don't know though. But, I like, I, I do yeah. know that this Brent, is. Brent seems to know a lot. He's on. A... No, with with <laughs> like, if I don't know something, I'm not gonna pick a side on it. Right. And I'm not gonna I mean, try experience this, so I don't have no way to. Nobody here is an expert on it. I'm just saying that I think that my issue and one of the reasons that I make girls mad lately is because I talk to girls like they're guys and and they don't like. Wait, no, what do you, you have mean? to like guys. Yeah, change it. Because when I when I talk well, actually, the same Luke, way, you should actually not talk. <laughs> okay, well, when I talk I one mean... certain way with guys, all, every guy agrees with me. But when I talk that same exact way with girls, I make them mad. So I think I need to speak really like logically. No, no, no. When when I say <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, okay, well, Shane, you can talk. Say say your thing, and then I'll say. I need my to thing. explain myself because I thought you were being. I'm not. Mean. No, no. I'm not saying you shouldn't talk, but when you're talking to a girl, it's about listening and not about talking. Mm-hmm. So you should probably just talk less, and they probably would like you more because girls don't really care what you have to say. To, like <laughs> they actually like really like you. I, they want I think you to listen it's to possible them. that's that's part of it. I think that's part of it. I think it's there's a more huge to it than part. That. I, I think um well, no, like just kidding. I think the problem is because Luke, you specifically talk, you speak very logically, and I love it. That's yeah. how I talk too, and like it makes a lot of sense. But like I, I've learned just like talking to girls, like I'll say things. I'll try. I try to say things in the most logical, emotionless, direct way possible. Mm-hmm. So that way, they, there's no question of what I'm saying. But for some reason, when a girl hears that. They assume that they 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 infer emotions into it. So like if right. you be like, like as, what was your point for saying that? Yeah, what? so you should be. Like, I said it to if say. You be like it. as balanced as possible. You sound you sound like a jerk. That's I think that's why I come off as a jerk sometimes to people that I just meet because mm-hmm. I try to be like I mean I'm either really out there and being goofy or I try to be super direct and like just right. as naturalistic and logical as possible. And people think I'm being sarcastic or something. Like someone's like oh, I don't like I don't want to do that. Like oh I don't care what you do. I'll just go do this. Well, like, I know I there was somebody. There was somebody that I was talking to the other day, um, and I I was talking to him, and I said, "Look, did I make a mistake here? You know, like was there something that I messed up?" And they heard, like that's what I said, but mm-hmm. they heard, "I think you're accusing me of something that's not fair." Mm-hmm. And when I was really saying, "Do you think that I made a mistake?" Because if you think I did, let's address that. Yeah. But what they heard is me saying like. I think you're accusing me. You think I made a mistake mm-hmm. and you don't think I'm yeah. capable. And it's like this kind of mm-hmm. underlying dialogue that I Those said. Those kind of conversations are always hard to have too. So, so are you, are you're more of a, you kind of just say exactly what you're trying to say type of well, person. I, and... it, it, well, in a, to a certain extent, it's more of like, look, if you think I suck, tell me mm-hmm. and yeah. then I'll figure out why. And then if I'll either determine if it's something that I messed up or there's something I need to work on or not. But yeah. when it's kind of like, just just right. tell me what you're thinking, and then we'll, we'll figure yeah. it out. You know, everybody's different, so they infer things differently. That's the yeah. thing I know. with social. I know. I'm not, I, and I'm not saying either one is good or bad. It's just that's my obstacle that I work with. Because I like to just real. throw it out there, and and sometimes people don't mm-hmm. hear it the way I want them to, or I don't yeah. say it the way I want it to be conveyed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. With that security guard, he's like. Be really confrontational right now, man. I'm not trying to be confrontational. <laughs> people like, just I just want to solve this people. problem as quickly as possible. People just get yeah. frustrated. Oh, you sound kind of emotional. Like, kind of... Oh, you sound really angry. It's like, no, I'm just asking a question. Yeah. <laughs> I realize that you know nothing, so I want to talk to somebody who knows who knows things. <laughs> yeah. And see, the That's thing okay. is, like, you what you're saying is, we're not doing ourselves any favors by us talking about this. So why don't you go do whatever you want to? Yeah. You know, I don't need to keep you here. Why don't yeah, you get me somebody is, that I can talk to? That's what I you're legit, saying. I legit but said he like, probably <laughs> heard you're not capable or good at your job. Yeah. Go find me yeah. someone else because you you heard. suck. Yeah. I, literally, you know? I literally said I literally said you don't know anything and that's okay. I want to just want to talk to someone who does know something because at that well, point I was see, talking to him. Well, you probably that, that, that was that was, that was you're 30 minutes stupid, of the conversation. And that's okay. Mike, you're such an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> People would take that as as. But that was after 30 minutes of me being nice. I was like, I don't care what I don't care that you don't know. It's fine. I want to talk to someone who doesn't yeah, know Yeah, but stuff. that still sounds but, like... Yeah, you shouldn't say that. But he was being stupid, he was being stupid it, it for was, half it, Look, it, I, I, I get the logic because it's almost like, look, don't feel bad. I you, I don't expect you to know this. I yeah. get it, go too. Go find me somebody But people aren't going to see it that way. 
I know. Definitely. Yeah. And I, I didn't. I didn't say that like in those words. But that's what he heard. So well, yeah. so much of of all this stuff is always you said I heard, and it goes both directions. Yeah, yeah. And so both people are like, I'm, I'm in this situation right now. We're like, I'm yeah. seeing one thing and they're hearing something, so they respond something, and they say it, and I hear something else, and so we basically bash yeah, heads that's because why... we both don't quite get it. Yeah, that's why when people get into arguments and you're trying to express to someone how you feel, like, well, this, like, I feel this way. And it's like, well, that wasn't my intention. It's like, well, that the point, who cares what your intention is? Because that's how it made me feel. It's kind of like right. those two right. different types of things. The problem is I could even take that approach. Like I say, I feel, or I think a lot, Yeah. but sometimes people don't hear those words. You know, so I'm like, I think that you're being aggressive with me. I think that. That's what I think. And then they're like, Mm -hmm. I'm not being aggressive. Like, I'm not saying you are. Great. I'm saying that that's what I. That's what I hear. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah. But some people don't think that way either. You know, so even that doesn't always work. And they're not. They're just not good communicators. Sucks to be them. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yep. People are crazy. You could say that to them too. But people People are crazy. People crazy. Peace be crazy. Okay, so. We can either <laughs> end the it. podcast here, <laughs> or I can run out for one second because I, I have to grab uh, something. This is kind of important. Something not suicidal. You guys keep <laughs> talking. I'm going to be right back. This is the first right. time I've ever done this. This is the podcast live. With live on the guys. podcast. Luke is I'm here. live in okay. New York. So so actually, all right, guys. Let's go crazy. We have another story. Don't say anything too mean. Let's name the podcast back. while he's gone. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. No, Perfect. wait. I got to tell this I'll story baby because podcast. I think it's, well, it's not, I don't know if it's funny, but so I did this. I did my own Christmas elf thing over the weekend as well, except it wasn't that cool. It was just like a drop-in daycare, (laughs) whatever. Is it an elf on a shelf? No, there was like a Christmas market. (laughs) There there was a Christmas market outside. The pause is beautiful. I was just in a classroom, (laughs) but yeah. So one of our – so people could drop off their kids while they were shopping and whatnot. So – my supervisor, or one of my supervisors, drops their kid off. And so, like, one of my coworkers is playing with the kid, and sh- she asks him, oh, so what do you want to be when you grow up? Mm-hmm. And he's like, I want to be a girl. And <laughs> she's, like, she's like, oh, well, why do you want to be a girl? And Wait, the kid like, said that or the adult said that? The kid, the said, the kid said that. Okay, I thought and, he asked, like, I thought a little kid asked the – Teacher, what do you want me to grow up? And they're like, oh, I could no. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Um, but she said, um, yeah, she asked, why do you want to be a girl? And he said, because I want to wear earrings or something like that. And so our supervisor, apparently she had already known about this and she wasn't like happy about it. And I'm, I'm back, by the way. Yeah. Hello. Okay, Luke. This little boy and wants so, to be a girl so he can wear earrings. You're yeah. now caught up. And so... I'm just, so when I, I'm told this information, I'm just standing there. I'm like, well, it's 2017. I mean, anything can happen. And as long as your child is happy, that is what you should care about. But why a three-year-old child is saying he wants to be a girl, I don't understand. Like, how you can already have that thought. Like, so, like. Well, kids uh, from uh, those shows where they, uh, the transgender kids, uh, they have thoughts like that at young ages. I think all I mean, kids have I, weird I, thoughts I, like but that. Just like let them about it, though. I, I, I think that I have like pretty strong so opinions sure. about this, but I just think like just let them, their kids, yeah, let yeah. them say all their crazy stuff, mm-hmm. and see where it goes. That's yeah. it. Like I, I, I mean, yeah. I, want, I wanted to be Spider Man when I was his age. And I can't. And then I realized. Oh, I, I mean, I wanted to be man. Donatello. So I mean, you know. <laughs> we were we were arguing over like while we were building a tree at Elf about which was the coolest Ninja Turtle. And other people made fun yeah. of us. No, no. Michael, anyway. Michelangelo. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. But, but, you should have just been like, hey, dude, it's okay. Guys wear earrings all the time. You can be a boy and wear yeah, earrings. Yeah, but no, it was it was the fact that my supervisor got like so mad. I'm like, your child is seems three. Like- yeah, your child is three. Like, you're, wait, was like, the super? Sorry that I miss, might have missed this. Was the supervisor? What was the relation? The kid whose whose kid was this? The supervisor's kid. Okay. Don't well, make I a, mean, you know. Don't make a big deal about it. 
Just be like, yeah. ah, okay, no. That's what I was saying. Or whatever. Like, I don't know. If, don't... if the kid Your transitions. Child is three. He's just spitting out words. If, if the kid someday transitions, the kid someday transitions. But make it a big deal about it. It's going to freak the kid out. It's gonna I just think that, like, feel bad. I, I said gonna... so much dumb stuff. When I was three, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, when I was well, three, I don't even be remember being three. <laughs> yeah. It could also Amen just be the kid saying whatever. So I mean, yeah. like, freaking out about it's gonna just make yeah. it worse. You think the kid knows the difference uh, when not right. kids are yeah, two? Exactly. Not yet. When kids yeah, are two, now. they barely even know how to think of yeah. from another person's perspective. I used, I used to think are girls are grody. Are you kidding me? <laughs> the, some of the girls kindergartners pretty... I work with, oh. the teacher asked. Oh, did you wear a blue jacket to school today? And the kid said, I don't know. <laughs> that was in one That's day. amazing. So, <laughs> and you're letting, and know. people are letting the kid, kid decide. It's like, it's three. Let I, I would just say, don't say anything about it. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's, I cause, like, plus people, also, like, people make things yeah. a big deal. They also I think like, people do weird thoughts sometimes. A girl That's why I just shrugged my shoulders. Like, kids are kids. Whatever. This is how they is. It's how they use. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like I don't, I don't think the kid. I don't think the kid understands. It's like, oh, like I want to. When I grew up, I want to get a really expensive surgery and like hormone changes so I can like change my identity. Yeah, like the kid was like, oh, kid, it'd be cool to the wear. The kid that doesn't stuff. even know what the word hormone. He's probably never even heard the word exactly. before. Exactly. Well, so I think so, also like another thing is like boys, even from a young age, like boys like girls. So it makes sense that he'd be yeah. like, oh, I like well, that some thing the girls them, wearing. I, awesome. No, I remember I a very, I remember a specific I, time when that changed I, for me. I, I, I have a, a story. <laughs> oh, I threw, I threw sand at girls. I was mean. Wow, all right. I, I, did, I can see that. I didn't do that, but. I thought it was fun. I thought we were having fun, and then they got mad at me. There's, some, there's like some running oh, so, out of your life. So, so, you so girls always, being mad, she started early. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, always treated girls like guys. That's actually not true. There's a very long period where all girls really liked me, and then and then it shifted. Oh, man. Well, back to when you were three when I was <laughs> no, uh, like like I think it makes it's it's not that weird for like kids to even say they like boy like for a boy to say he likes girl things because guys like girls like I like not. when girls are pretty dresses like I like pretty <gasps> dresses as a thing but what? I don't want to wear a pretty dress <laughs> no it's true no it's true because I love pretty I've, dresses I've gone no I, I like work I like cute store. shoes I like scarves I like ponytails I, like I think scarves are fucking females pointless. are wearing them yeah then they do it. but great. I like when Lauren wears scarves that's true <laughs> so, it's fine. I still think they're pointless. Sorry. Yeah, pointless. Scarves, they look, they look cute. I, I don't know. Scarves keep your neck oh, like warm, man. I'll wear a scarf. Yeah, that's the first thing I think about when I'm cold. Not my hands or my face. Dude, your neck gets so cold. Everything yeah. but your neck is in. Are you kidding? My what, what neck has never been cold. My anyway. neck You've has had never... a beard for like <laughs> That's not my problem. <laughs> that's so not my problem. people experience this that they made a thing called scarves. That's not my problem. Also, most I'm girls, me it's, personally. Irrelevant. it's irrelevant though, because most girls, they drape their scarf like a foot away from their face yeah. anyway. That's true. That's a good point. So they just want to look wrap cool. it around. But, uh, it's, so, yeah, it's all for style. It's yeah. not for... They want to look cool and not be warm. Actualness. I, in, in first grade, <laughs> uh, I was walking home, or walking to school with my mom or something. I forget. But there was some girl that like really liked me. She was a redhead. And in I, the first I, grade? Yeah, and then she kept, I forget what she kept asking for from me. I don't know. We were young. <laughs> but, like, at some point, I eventually, like, <laughs> at some point, I broke, and I was just like, I don't like you. Get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine Dang. that. Get away from me. And the only reason I know that story is because my mom told me that story. She and was... that was the day she became a lesbian. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, that's Rector. not my problem. I do not want to think it's about not. the people that I wrecked. Everything by worked out accident. for me. And it's funny because I remember when I was younger, it was like a game where it was like the girls can't like you if you throw sand at them. But I remember then she think, won't like you what? anymore. We did that, man. Uh, I remember that. I had friends who did that. Yeah, like it, not not like intentionally. That like I'm it wasn't gonna like it wasn't like, like we were like these evil mean kids. It was just like gross. Yeah, she likes it me. sounds like it. How, how do we? Okay. Yes, yeah, I agree. When I was, when I, okay, let me let me give some more context. So when I was like <laughs> very young, it was like rumors would start. It'd be like, oh, this girl likes you, and she tries like, to no, kiss all. She like tries no. to kiss all the guys that she <laughs> yeah. likes, and then me and my friends would talk, and you know, it's little kids, yeah. and we're like, okay, if you want to keep her from doing that, you just gotta make her not like you. And so then it was like, okay, yeah, like that <laughs> how do we gross. do this? Yeah, because we're you're a kid, you don't know. Maybe anything. I didn't have those type of friends. Maybe, maybe I, I had a bunch of nerd friends, friends, man. You didn't really experience that. 
All right, that's well, good. that's fine. I mean, like, we don't have to get in this. It's fine. <laughs> I did not have, like, I was just a massive nerd, so I didn't have these problems. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So massive nerd, but it worked out, so. Yeah, that's right. You're the only one who's married. Maybe that's the right. nerdiest one. That's true. The only- that, oh, there's the key to success, listeners. Be a nerd. <laughs> Be a massive be a fucking nerd. nerd, and you'll have be a nerd incredibly and don't hot throw wife. sand at girls, and then you'll be. And you'll have a wife that is way above your rank, <laughs> but it worked <laughs> out. <laughs> it really job, but it worked out. <laughs> Someday she'll find out I'm not at her level, but for now, <laughs> it's, it's too late, man. She's married, like. <laughs> no, you're right. There's no yeah. such thing as divorce. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's a construct. Just, just don't let her know. You know. <laughs> I, I don't know what you think, but in Ireland they have divorce as well. So I mean, I never right. signed the divorce paper. <laughs> like it's like it's just like in America, we don't have divorce, so sorry. That's right. That's right. Oh, yeah. it's, a, it's made up. It's fake. Well, <laughs> fake news. No, I don't think she would ever do that. So we're gonna take that <laughs> out back from the universe. We're not gonna <laughs> put any divorce into the universe. That's right. The, this pod- right. Yeah, someone someone listens to this podcast and they're like, you know what? He's I right. Divorce that person. <laughs> if you're out there, hey, if you're out there trying to get divorced, don't do it. That's right. It's don't do it. It's well, I mean, it. talk to them. Them. Do it. Again, another topic. <laughs> I don't know. Someone's got to be on the other side. I don't know. I've never experienced it, so I don't have yes or no's to it. But I feel like if people aren't happy, you know, they, they can't work it out, then maybe divorces it, it, it's a maybe. weird situation i feel like well, it, it, I mean, you're gonna it, starts, get, it starts from the beginning like my, you gotta like, yeah. my controversial opinion is that if you're gonna get married and have kids you should stay together as long as the kids are kids like yeah, what? but if, if, you're, you're in a, if you hate if you're each other a, then that's not you're good in a, for the children if you're <laughs> an adult if you're an adult it's i've been playing on, devil's well, advocate this whole fucking night man like and that's <laughs> that's I'm not is saying that, in every. I'm not saying in every single case. I just think in general, like if you're gonna get married and you're gonna have kids, if you're gonna people, create humans. <laughs> try to stay together for the kids, right? People you know? people with <laughs> like the Blink One Eighty Two song. Yeah, <laughs> that's where I get my life oh, advice from. No, 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 no. I don't agree with staying together for the kids. Don't yeah, I don't. I think that could damage the kids. I don't have there kids. There is yet. a threshold you don't, you don't. where I don't exactly <laughs> think this. I'm just saying in general. I, 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 I'm not I, gay. I'm, I'm not, not divorced. And I don't have you, kids. Luke, I'm We're discussing. You not against <laughs> yeah. you. I know for real. Like you got so. Wait. Ironically. No, I'm no, saying. I'm, just, I'm saying. No, I'm you, saying I'm that just... there there is a line that I believe, hmm. but obviously there is a point where it's like, okay, if you guys are trying to stab each other, get divorced. But I'm saying in general, if you're going to make kids, try to marry try someone you're work. going to stay with, you know? It's just like, it's yeah, kids. And sure. A lot of times, I mean, like, kids in I general. Mean, you should marry someone that you love, and that yeah, should be exactly. the, the thought already should <laughs> yeah, be. Once you have kids, kids, it's not about you anymore. That's what I'm That's also true, but you can still take care of a child I mean, and not be with when the you person get mar- you don't want to be with. married, it's not about but you But avoid either. it. It's almost like me saying, True, if you're gonna easier. drive, if you're gonna drive a car, try not to crash. Well, Luke, people crash sometimes. <laughs> I I no, I'm just day. saying, try not to. You know, we get divorced avoid it. Coincidentally, so, I played uh, "Stay Together for the Kids" by, by, by Luke and Eighty Two on guitar for my girlfriend, and I was like 16. And we didn't stay together. Look how that work. you have fucking kids though. <laughs> <laughs> You did it wrong, Michael. You should have. I should have had the kids first. You messed up the order. And then play the song. <laughs> oh, man, I need to go back. You have to go back. You have, you have to go, go back. back. To the future. Go back. I don't want to hate her. She's crazy. <laughs> to the future. I actually saw her recently. The truth uh, when comes I out. To, when I worked at cookout, I saw her a couple years ago with like her sugar daddy <gasps> or something. Oh. It was like with this old dude who had like gold chains, and she was like wearing like a tight dress and like. Hanging Ooh, on his arm and stuff. At like cookout? Like, Ooh, that's that's yeah. ratchet. I mean, yeah, that's you know, that's high quality bottom, restaurant. Hey, right? yeah, he's definitely a sugar daddy going to cookout. Oh yeah, maybe he's like his like stud daddy. Haven't been to cookout yet? Oh, we should go. It's good. Oh, when I come back to Virginia, and... I brought I, was, I brought Lauren well, to cookout. I was the, so I was supposed to go with my at the time girl person, but <gasps> Dang, no. I'll, be, I'll 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 do all the things. I'll do some of the things <laughs> you plan on dealing with her. <laughs> It's gonna be awesome. I'll do all the things. Mike's gonna be gay. You know what? You know what? You know what? I changed my stance. Maybe it is easier being gay. Look at this shit. Very easy. Just throw himself at me. 
Okay. He just, he just like approached him. It was easy. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, <laughs> wrong. maybe devil's right. advocate. The I'll answer is becoming. Okay, guys, let's wrap up this podcast. <laughs> so let's go into plugs. Shane, you said you might have a new plug today. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing at that. <laughs> you might have a new plug. Uh, Brent dies of laughing. <laughs> Okay, so I don't have I don't have no don't have like an official <laughs> plug for it yet, but I can, I will announce say it that announce I, it on here. Announce but it. But there's no like, an announcement. <laughs> but um, I am in the process of making videos. That's all I'll say. <gasps> Sweet. <Can't. gasps> okay. Sweet. Any other plugs? There, there, there is there is stuff. This stuff coming but Sweet. um my actual plug you can check out my podcast that i host the pop talk podcast on soundcloud you can also follow us on our twitter which is at talking pop my personal twitter is at mr mccatty m-r-m-c-c-a-t-t-y um i don't know who on this planet does but if you like taylor swift we are going to be talking about her next week, and <gasps> I really would like someone to help us out because I don't really have too many nice things to say. But <laughs> I'll um, help and say mean appara- things. And apparently, as well. <laughs> apparently, her album that's coming out in a few hours is not even going to be available for streaming. It's only going to be able to be bought because all she cares about <gasps> is money. But anyway, uh, I don't. I don't disagree with her there. Yeah, you know, okay. I'm sure most pop CDs. stars don't care about money. Always that's why they write CDs. pop music, Shane. I think that's why you know most people do Man. things with their whole lives for no money. Spotify Boom. is bad for artists. I mean, yes. anyway, Boom. check out my podcast. <laughs> I made six support Spotify. local black metal. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Why's it gotta be black? <laughs> oh, because that's I'll, it. Oh, never mind. That's I was kidding. It's fine. Plug that. <laughs> All right, Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> never go full metal. Um. <laughs> John or Brent? I still have that wallpaper thing. I haven't finished because when I get home, I don't feel like programming. So it's okay. (laughs) It's gonna take a while, but I'm I'm still excited. Working, I'm waiting for it. It's 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 really really, not that exciting. I'm anticipating a lot. Really, really, really. Let's build this thing up. (laughs) You're gonna disappoint (laughs) everyone. Everyone's gonna be disappointed. It's the best game ever. Every it's not a game. Everyone's gonna be disappointed anyway. But you're gonna (laughs) just make them even more disappointed. Good. So don't big it up. The worst right, program fine, ever. Fine, Do what you want. Do what you want. What about you, John? How was your stream? Uh, it was pretty good. We was raised six hundred dollars. Six hundred sixty-four dollars. Sweet. Woo. I met my goal of a hundred dollars. Awesome. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. No kidding. <laughs> Congratulations. What was yeah, the big, big what was this for again? What's the charity again? For those that don't know. Uh, this is for. It's called Extra Life, but it's for um oh, the Children's it. Hospital of King's Daughters. Awesome. You're a hero. Yeah. It's a yearly a hero. Uh, charity event. That That's right. We stream on. for 24 hours, but we only did 12 hours because there was a point <gasps> oh. in time where everybody just left the stream. So yeah. I, 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 like, I, I right, want, I want to do that uh, maybe next year. Out for the count. <laughs> hey, so my, money, so that's cool. my brother did it at one point, the uh, 24 hour. That's cool. Um, what else, John? Anything else? Uh, no, nothing else. Okay, Michael. Uh yeah um so my friend Josh Goodman is coming out with an EP soon that I helped him um ooh, ooh. produce I guess uh, I played some guitar on it and helped him like in the recording and stuff Woo. so check it out nice. Josh Goodman music it's gonna be called uh, Shattering the Earth EP it should be out is he John Goodman's month. child huh <laughs> is he John Goodman's child <laughs> yep actually his last name is Tom <laughs> but close enough Tom but, and he and I are working on some music soon it's gonna be like a acoustic album about like love and loss and stuff like about like old girlfriends and things like that I'm out mm. no it's gonna be cool we're working on some music it's gonna be awesome and follow me on Instagram Michael Demas M-Y-K-O-L D-I-M-A-S I know my name Michael is not really spelled like that and yes Demas is my middle name so mm. it confuses everybody it's cool it's your middle name? yeah <laughs> oh right no you're right <laughs> no, I know. Right? <laughs> I was like, I was really confused. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're, Mike, so, yeah, yeah, you got it right, Michael. Let's, <laughs> no, but that's so true was, because when Michael saved his name in my phone, and it didn't say like Michael Demas, I was like, 
shook for a second. I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say his last name. Wait name. a second. <laughs> Which Michael is this? I'm not buying your like, story now, man. <laughs> I wasn't thinking really in the moment. So no, I think that, everybody, I, that wasn't your last name. It confuses everyone because my social media name is different than my real name. Yeah. Maybe I should change Michael, that. Michael, I actually don't sure. have your phone number. Yeah, I realized that the other day. I can't, I can't, oh, say, I it on, uh, say it on a podcast Basically right now. Friend. Yeah, why don't you tell us right now? I know. Well, All right, so everybody, everybody listen up. 7675. Seven. No, <laughs> <laughs> well, now they know your area code. Oh. <laughs> oh, I no. mean, they know where we are. Uh, Not all okay, of us. So, my plug. So, I Luke. actually am releasing three vlogs this week. I already released Ooh. two. Ooh. Third one's coming out on... Uh, or, sorry, not this week, but Tuesday. So, there was... One that came out on Sunday. One that came out on Tuesday. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Do you one not make these videos? Get burnt maybe out, I man. should have thought through this a little bit more. Okay. Um, no, maybe it you got come three out. videos. That's what matters. Damn it. You got three videos. They'll be on the internet. Yeah, sometime. I got. I had a video that came out last week. A video that came out today, and a video that's coming out Tuesday. Okay, okay. so that's three videos within. You mean yesterday? This is Friday. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. We he record these in real time, out, people. Check out his YouTube. But channel, I'm also Luke working Rockwell out on vlogs. a couple other videos as well. I just got a new camera, so I've been really excited to film on it. It looks really, really good. Uh, like check out my cameras. videos. I have a, a good number of cameras. Um, <laughs> check out my vlogs, Luke Rockwell vlogs. Check out other episodes of this podcast. They're all really good. Check out Where's everybody's plugs. My Twitter is Where? Luke Rockwell. I'm all over the place. What chain? Well, I-, I can ask you later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it, everybody. Thanks for listening. Check out the other episodes, and uh, yeah, that's it. Goodbye. Okay, bye. Hey, bye. Have All a right. good time. Bye. Guys. bye. Outro music. Chocolate frosties are better. <laughs> <laughs>